Hello students, today we are going to see uh, this topic DML commands. So in that there are uh, three different types of commands. One is insert command. And the next thing is delete command. And the next one is update command. Okay. So we are going to see this uh, three topics today. So uh, please concentrate here. Uh, once once the schema or structure of a table is created values can be added to the table the dml commands consist of insert inserting deleting and updating rows into the table so insert command so this dml commands consist of only three uh, three uh, <coughs> three functions inserting deleting and updating rows only records is been added to that table uh, the inserting command helps to add new data to the database or add new records to the table the the command is used as as follows here so here you can see that this is the syntax insert into table name what table name you are using uh, what are all the data that you want to enter in this table name you need that table name and column name and the values so here in the next line they have given an example insert into student is the table name and admin number okay admission number and the name and the gender age and place so these are all the common names and here comes the values attribute okay values so admission number is 100 name is akesh uh, gender is m age is 17 places chennai so uh, this is the records okay two new records is added to the table as shown in figure so the next uh, command is the same but a different value okay so the value of uh, so the order of values must must match the order of column in the create table command specify the command uh, column name is optional if data is to be added for all columns the commands to uh, the command to add values into the student table can be also used as following okay so if uh, if you are using uh, column if you if you are know the column name then you you, you should uh, you can or you shall use this column name if not you can use directly the value as it is okay so here is the next example here you can see that uh, insert into student uh, table name and directly to the values okay without giving the uh, column name okay without giving the column name they have just uh, created the values here okay just they have inserted the values into the table name so it should be this uh, value this order of uh, 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 values must be equivalent equivalent to the uh, design of the table okay so you have given the ad, uh, admission number at the first 102 so instead of that you give the student name then it will create a error it will show an error that uh, mismatch data type okay so admission number will be numbers but if you give uh, text information then it will show you some error so the above command inserts the record into the student table to add data to any uh, uh, to only some uh, columns in the records by specifying the column name and their data it, it can be done by it can be done by this insert into student student is the table name and admission number name and place and the value okay so only if you want to insert some uh, particular value to a particular column then you can you have to give the you have to give the uh, name of the column
the above commands adds the following records by default value by default value of m for gender and age as 18 um, and you can see that insert into student admission number name place so the uh, values is uh, 104 uh, abhinand and chennai okay so the student table will be uh, will have the following data so here you can see that akshay gender m and the age 18 is given by default okay the user doesn't give it but by default the value will be assigned okay so um, the fields that are not given in the insert command will be uh, will take default values if it is if it is defined for them otherwise null values will be stored so if you provide default value to a table then it will provide the default value if you are not assigned the default value then it will assign null to the empty space next is delete command so next is delete delete commands per command permanently removes one or more records from the table so it removes the entire row not individual fields or fields of a row so no field arguments is needed uh, the delete command is used for as follows okay so <coughs> delete from table name where condition so here you can see that given example delete from student where admission number is equal to 104 so it checks the it searches for the admission number which contains 104 and deletes the entire record so it does not the entire da entire data of others it will it will only delete the data of 104 so 104 admission number will be deleted 104 name will be deleted 104 gender will be deleted and 104's age and place will be deleted so delete star from is an another command so this delete uh, this table the table will be empty now and could be destroyed using drop command okay this is discussed in the section 12.7.4.3 okay so if you want to delete the entire table and you can use this select star star means all the data from the table okay so all the records will be deleted from that particular table okay so in, in the future in the come four coming classes we will be discussing in detail about this uh, drop command okay so this drop command will just uh, delete the entire table and its data so next is update command so the update command uh, updates some or uh, all data values in the database it can update one or more records in a table the update command specifies the uh, row to be changed using where class and a new data type using set keyword the command is used as follows so update table name set column name uh, <coughs> set column name is equal to value uh, column name is equal to value where condition so an example is given here update student set age is equal to 20 where place is equal to Bangalore so if place is equal to Bangalore then age will become automatically 20 so this is a condition so the above command will be executed will be will change the age uh, to 20 for those students whose place is Bangalore uh, <coughs> the table will be as uh, updated as following okay so here you can see that Bangalore only Akshit uh, is uh, places uh, that is admission number one point uh, sorry 102 
is its place is bangalore then the age will automatically change to 20 so to update multiple fields multiple field assignment can be specified with the set class separated by commas for example to update multiple fields in the student table the command is given as update student set age is equal to uh, 18 place is equal to chennai where admission is equal to 20 sorry 102 so if if the condition that is admission number is 102 change the age as 18 and change the place as chennai so after executing this uh, this code then you can see that this is the output okay after after changing after executing the code you can see the uh, you can see the table as it is in page number 217 okay so with this we'll finish the class today we'll see the alter command and uh, alter command truncate command truncate command and uh, drop table command so everything in the next class thank you students